For the past week, I've been wearing the Pelagos from Tudor. The Pelagos is a 500 meter titanium diver that was introduced this past year at Basel World. It is actually the first titanium diver to come from the Rolex family. This watch is really interesting for a few reasons. First of all, it's not sold in the United States, so getting your hands on one here in the US is difficult. But what makes this watch so interesting from a functional standpoint is that it's really an unabashed tool watch. It's a watch that you can wear every single day and you never have to worry about it. It's gonna last you know, through and through anything. It's got a really nicely finished titanium case, 42 millimeters. There's very strong, very impressive beveling on the edges of the case. Pointed crown guards, nice titanium kind of matte. The bezel is actually injected with ceramic, uh, so this is actually a matte ceramic bezel, which you don't often see. It's got fantastic action. This case and this bracelet and everything about it is made by Rolex, so you get the same kind of quality control that you'd see on any Rolex. No wiggle at all, it's really well done. The triangle up top at 12 has a kind of a faux pearl effect to it. Instead of just doing a, a plain triangle, uh, they wanted to put a circle there to catch the eye so the diver could see where 12 o'clock was quicker. And they couldn't use an actual pearl because disturbability. The pearl is susceptible to falling out. One of the most interesting parts about this watch is actually the clasp on the Oyster bracelet. It can expand and retract based on the wearer's movements. It just means that this bracelet is just phenomenally comfortable and actually allows it to be worn by people with different sized wrists easily without having to adjust it. And also just in day-to-day -day activities, it really makes the bracelet much more comfortable. So the Pelagos is a true tool watch. It's a watch that's meant to be taken diving. So in the box, you not only get the Oyster bracelet that it comes on, but you get a rubber strap traditional length and you also get a diver's extension rubber strap that's meant to go on the outside of a diver suit. In my opinion, this is the watch that will mark a transition from Tudor as an interesting, almost secondary player in the tool watch category to a primary player. And I think for around $4,100 or wherever this watch will come in, if and when it comes to the US, I don't think there's much more that can really compete with it. It's well done.